I do you too, Terang too. I spent seven days buried alive. This might not go well. This might not go well because I don't know if this dude will actually stay alive for the seven days. I hope he doesn't actually. I hope he. I hope he's alive. That's the thing. All right, let's see. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna spend the next seven days buried alive under twenty thousand pounds of dirt. This is the scariest thing I. Oh my! No, I would. Oh my God! Seven feet. He <laughs> says seven feet. I've ever done. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just turn out my decibels. I'm gonna spend the next seven days buried alive under 20,000 pounds of dirt. This is the scariest thing I have ever done. All right, well, I guess it's time. Bury me alive. <laughs> oh, that was scary. This has gotta be terrifying. Yeah, this is pretty much most people's worst fear. Oh my God, that dirt is terrifying. Brace yourself. <laughs> Drop the payload. Oh God, I feel like I need to hold the roof. Oh, oh, what? Do they have like food in there? <laughs> oh my! Of course he has to have food in there. Roof is shaking. <laughs> I'm entrusting my life to this coffin for the next seven days. Let's pray it doesn't just randomly decide to break. And obviously this goes without saying, but yes, this is 100% real. And I'll be honest, I severely underestimated how hard this was gonna be. And with that, the challenge has officially started. I am now trapped in here for the next seven days. It took the boys so long to bury me alive that I already have to pee and the challenge just started. In case you're wondering how I use the bathroom down here, well, yeah. This is so uncomfortable. All I have to survive the next seven days, ah, my foot, is the food in this briefcase, which is basically just some MREs and snacks. Ah. My foot went numb. A five gallon drum of water over there and whatever essentials the boys put in this briefcase, which probably means I'm gonna run out of food way before the seven day mark. In all seriousness, this is extremely dangerous. And so I don't suffocate, I need to make sure people are watching me at all times. Jimmy, can you hear this? Yeah, it sounds like Nolan's mom is jumping on the surface. <laughs> if we had 12 people, maybe it would be that. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. I have a feeling a lot of you are gonna start going to bed. I need someone to I would I would never want to do this. Gosh, this must be so terrifying. Just imagine, right? No, just imagine they thought you died and then after that you wake up and you're buried alive. Oh my gosh, this would oh my god. Be you're walking at all times. So if I need something, I actually need one of you to answer, okay? And now that I have nothing better to do, <sighs> I'm gonna head to bed. And I'm either gonna wake up well rested or crushed by 20,000 pounds of dirt. Hopefully I wake up well rested. Sleep is gonna be key to finishing this challenge because when I'm asleep, I'm not thinking about the fact that I'm trapped in this box, but that only works most of the time. Is there a fly in here? The goal is to sleep as much through this <laughs> challenge as possible for my own sanity. Oh, look Let's at him. He looks so cozy. <sighs> Jimmy J! No. Nolan drew all over your face. Hey, Nolan, how many hours till your mom comes to set? <laughs> oh, no, I know you're gonna say. Hopefully she doesn't accidentally crush the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> my strategy during this video was to sleep the entire time. I completely forgot though, my friends are gonna annoy me and not let me sleep. This is gonna be miserable. I wanna start today off by turning these long pants into shorts. Ow. 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 I just punched that box. Mission one complete. Your boy has shorts. This is our food briefcase. Let's give this MRE a try. MRE stands for meal ready to eat. All you have to do is add hot water and it chemically cooks the food. The boys on the other hand were grilling up steaks and literally feasting on top of my grave. You know, Jimmy, oh, just for you. Oh my gosh. No, that's that's disrespectful. <laughs> that is disrespectful, Jeff. We're gonna eat MREs for the rest of the time we're out here. Really? Yeah. No. I literally heard Tariq in the background say no. Yeah. Enjoy your hot water pasta in a bag. Meanwhile, this is my reality. Oh, it's crunchy. Why is pasta crunchy? This is, this is great. I was so bored, I actually ended up punching my coffin for fun until my knuckles started to hurt. So I put a sock on my hand so I could keep punching the wall. I'm desperate for entertainment. Oh, Jimmy. Thank God, I'm so bored. One second. <laughs> 
Oh, whoa. What'd you do? Yo, that actually scared me. Can you at least semi explain to me what you're doing? See how my life is on the line? All right. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, the boys are incapable of explaining anything. What they've done is they've stuck a pipe all the way down to my grave, vacuumed the dirt out of it just to take this surgical wire camera and feed it down and look at me suffer. Hold. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens. It's time to go in. <laughs> this is so surgical. What is that? <laughs> Oh, that fly on my leg freaked me out. Get away from me. You want to hold this steady? <gasps> Just keep looking. Oh, move your ass! <laughs> oh, we see you! Having fun? Good night, Jimmy. And when day two was coming to a close, the boys left me to go spend time by their RV. And being the understimulated man I was, I thought it'd be a good time to crack into their essentials briefcase and see what was inside. Wait, he's opening the card. Is this Nolan's mom? I found a photo of your mom. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> did you do that? No, that was Bro, who did that? Nolan, is this your mom? Oh my god, she's on his chest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's messed up, bro. That's messed up. <laughs> Besides somehow losing this picture, if I had to guess what I think would make me quit this challenge, it'd be not wanting to poop underground, back pain, back pain, back pain, and maybe some back pain. And obviously you can tell this is already getting pretty hard for me. But like usual, you better bet it's gonna get a whole lot worse. It's raining really heavy right now. I just woke up to the sound of thunder. Nolan, huh? wake up. We gotta check on Jimmy, make sure he's like not crushed. I'm actually kind of concerned. But... This looks way more funeral-esque. You think that dirt's heavier now? Dirt plus rain is heavy. Jimmy! I think I have an idea how to wake him up. Is someone drilling? It's one of those days. Ah! I don't even have my pants on yet, and things are already getting crazy. Jimmy, can you hear us? What are you doing up there? There are currently 15 speakers on top of your grave. Ah. So if I had to guess, Chris is about to play stupid music. Jimmy, it's a party up here! Oh my... Whoa. Yo, my coffin's actually shaking. Jimmy, there's an earthquake, oh my god! Wait, what is that? I just noticed there's an unscrewed bolt on the side of my coffin. His screws came loose in the coffin. From the base? Are you kidding me? Literally from the base. Should I be concerned this wasn't screwed all the way in? Max it out! Whoa! What the heck are you doing right now? I'm vibrating! Ugh, these vibrations are kind of hurting my head. Oh, uh, why is there flowers in my hair? I'm freaking out. Okay, let's go dig a tunnel. We're gonna start the tunnel right here and dig all the way into Jimmy's coffin. We have the speakers blaring noise so that he doesn't hear us digging. I've got an idea. We'll play construction noises over the speakers so that way he doesn't hear the excavator. There's a loud noise and no one's answering over the walkie. So either I'm about to die. It's like playing a video game. Or they're about to do something dumb. Except for you could accidentally kill somebody. I've officially crossed the 50 hour mark. I have now been buried longer than I was last time I did this challenge. I promised my doctor that I would move every day so I don't get blood clots. Because apparently laying down for seven days straight can kill you. I'm taking a hold. We gotta loosen up the dirt for Chris. I asked the boys to pack dumbbells and they gave me three pound dumbbells. Hey. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I smell so bad. <laughs> Why would you, no, why would you, I mean, I get why he would exercise because this is that challenge he did with Adrax. <laughs> but still, it's gonna smell in that, in that coffin, bro. <laughs> he got his mom picture. <laughs> That's messed up. But yeah, I'm gonna do my best not to think about the fact that I could die when I stand up in a couple of days. Chris, go a few feet deeper! I'm not certified to do this at all. I'm bored in a coffin. We definitely stayed up all night and dug this tunnel and didn't pay that guy to do it. 
Is this safe? I'm going second. What's that? And then you bring up the rear, What's Tariq. That? What is that? You guys come right behind me. One of the weird parts about this challenge is there are so many cameras always recording at all times. We have to dig a couple more inches and then we're to the coffin. It didn't really bother me the first few days, but I just have this weird feeling. Someone's always staring at me and it's starting to like kind of irritate me. Oh, please, please, please. We've him. What is that sound I hear? Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> what? Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Do you see us? I see Nolan's forehead. Yeah, it's hard to miss. How long did it take to dig that tunnel? Literally all night, Jimmy. This is not what I was expecting to happen today. Hey, Nolan, one second. What do you think of that photo? What do I have to do to get rid of that picture of my mom? This is the only thing keeping me sane. How do I get it back? I'm framing this and keeping it forever. I'm sorry. You've been in this coffin for so long that you forgot about what happened to the channel. Yeah. yeah. We're almost at 200 million. You're going to hit 200 million subscribers in that coffin. Wish I could see it live. Me too, my friend. No one has a surprise for you as well. We're going to tape this feast with bars to Jimmy. Oh my God, it's so hot. Is that the new Feastable bar? Hey, this is actually pretty good marketing by my friends. Now in every time lapse, Feastables will be there. <sighs> I hope tomorrow's easier. It's a weird feeling. Like, I'm very tired, but for some reason I can't sleep. I don't know, I've never had this happen before. Why am I crying? I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's officially day five. Only two more days of this nightmare. I don't think humans are meant to lay down for five days straight. I'll try to act like I'm not depressed. Almost there. <laughs> Jimmy, we got paintball guns and we're gonna shoot your tombstone. That sounds fun. Can I jump? I don't even know what to say to them. Jimmy, what have you been doing for fun? Nothing. I'm in mental agony. Have you pooped yet? I have to poop really badly, but I'm gonna see if I can hold it in for the next two days. I don't know why, but I have like no motivation to do anything. I've been laying here for five days and I don't even have enough energy to prepare a meal. And because going to the bathroom down here is so difficult. Don't ask me how, but I accidentally got some pee on my shorts. I'm cutting off the part of my shorts that are infected. Sorry for how short they are now. That was disgusting. Jimmy, we're here to celebrate. We're almost at 200 million subs. Well, what's the estimate of when we hit it? How long? I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> what does he want from us? I've been feeling pretty terrible all day, but the fact that we're about to hit 200 million subscribers actually makes me kind of happy. You know, since we're about to hit 200 million subscribers, this would be a super convenient time to talk, talk about Verizon Home Internet that actually provides, provides internet connection so I can watch the 200 million live down here while I tell them about the sponsor. That's a good point. Verizon 5G home internet is exactly what it sounds like. It's wireless internet for your home that runs off Verizon's extremely fast 5G ultra wideband network. And when they asked if they could sponsor this video, I asked, does your internet work 10 feet underground? We're turning it on now. Nice. Okay, I'm connected. And now you're gonna watch us hit 200 million. And just by plugging in this little box, thanks to Verizon, I now have America's highest quality 5G home internet. It actually works. Even though I'm 10 feet underground, I can see my real-time subscriber count. Carl, did you know that if the people watching this video are over 18, while supplies last, when they order Verizon home internet, Verizon will give you an Xbox Series S on them. They must hate money. I mean, honestly, yeah. And you can get it for as low as $35 a month. So if you want some of the fastest and most reliable internet on the planet just go to mrbeastverizon.com and put in your address and it'll tell you if it's available in your area and now let's focus on the 200 million subscriber goal we are so close before this i was just some random dude in nebraska and uh now he's just some random dude in north carolina <laughs> i used to be just a random guy in nebraska carl this is a heartfelt <laughs> moment don't copy nolan it's crazy that we used to like talk about this sitting at a lunch table and now we're at 200 million subscribers that's insane i just want to say it's been an honor working with every Everyone, let's crush some more goals. And finally, Chandler, close us off. I first started working here, it was like seven of us, and I was the janitor, and now we're at 200 million subs, and I'm very grateful. You know, I started making videos when I was 11, I'm 25 now, and I never in a million years thought the channel would get this big. I mean, as we're about to hit 200 million subscribers, I just want all of you to know that I appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos. I still remember the days when I would make videos and literally get zero views. Thank you so much. We're gonna see all these numbers move. That's actually crazy. It's actually crazy that he's now at 200 million. He better pass T Series and, and PewDiePie. We did it! Woo!
Woo! I think it's unfortunately time that we unplug you now. Wait, hold up, hold up. I haven't even gotten a chance to call my girlfriend yet. Yeah, we got you. We got you for sure. All right, bro. We're going to be right here, okay? You yeah. just finished that call. Pl come on. Plug it back in. I just wanted to say, like, just two minutes so my girlfriend knows I'm alive. <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing this thing where I'm crying and I'm not 100% sure why I'm crying. Hitting 200 million with the boys was fun, but now I'm just alone and trapped in here again. It's been five days, five days alone in this coffin. I honestly have no idea how I'm gonna survive two more days of this. I'm going downhill quickly. Yo, Jimmy. How you doing? Oh, no response. I don't know if he's alive. Nolan, I appreciate you checking in on me and caring, but... Are you actually hanging in there? I know... Jimmy went from being terrified to an absolute yapster, and now he's a sad boy. I'm doing my best to talk to you guys for content, but to be honest, I have like zero desire to speak. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, he's losing his mind. I think we need to find a way to cheer him up. So I want to make some phone calls. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I've already used up all my pee bottles. And so basically, whenever I have to pee, I eat one of these meals, and then I just pee in this bag and uh, zip it up. I, know that uh, might be I did not even know that. Ah, uh, no. Much information. This challenge is disgusting, and I want to leave. I was so down bad that there was only one thing in this world that could possibly cheer me up. Yeah, I, mean, I, somebody. I swear to God. <laughs> Who'd you bring? My parents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How's it going? Well, have you talked about Nolan's mom at all since you've been down there? <laughs> oh, Nolan is crazy. Oh, my God. Uh, no, not whatsoever. <laughs> and the picture? Um, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> More importantly, do you guys have something super embarrassing you could tell us about Nolan? Our... Jimmy, there's so many. That will instantly make this challenge so much better. He told us he was going to prom, but he actually just went to the neighbors next door for a little bit. Oh! We'd like to see him bring a girl home for Christmas. That's all I needed to cheer me up, because I know the comment section is going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I date Jimmy. <laughs> My mom has one more question. Hit me. All right, now you walk away. Bye, That's Jimmy. how it works. <laughs> Did he throw the walkie again? I know all of you like to sleep in, and you don't like getting up early. I don't care. In exactly 12 hours, I need you all to start digging, okay? <sighs> what time is it? As long as we wake up for our alarms, we'll be good. What would you do if when I stand up, I get blood clots and just die on the spot? I'd know where to put you. Oh. <laughs> See you in 12 hours. It's a date. I'm about to go to bed, and hopefully when I open these eyes in the morning, someone is digging me out of this coffin. Sorry, I don't know why I'm tearing up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited for anything in my entire life. I can't wait to see the sunlight tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. This is gonna be awesome. Laying down for my final night, all I could think about is whether or not I'd be able to stand when this is over. It's not normal to be laying down and not moving this long. Boys, it has officially been seven days! Woo! Yeah! I know you guys don't like doing manual labor, but can you dig me up? We're getting you out, Jimmy! Ugh. This is the worst part of the challenge because now I'm just waiting for my stupid friends to dig me up. And of course, there's the added tension of whether or not I'm going to die when I stand up. So, yeah. Bring in the excavator! I bet you when I get out, the first thing they're gonna say is how bad I smell. Jimmy, this Santa Claus looking guy is gonna bring you out now. Carl, I don't care what he looks like. Just get me out of this coffin! Dig! 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 Any second now, this dirt above me will turn into sunlight. I can't wait. Oh, that's the excavator. Oh, that's scary. I can see sunlight! Hey! Jimmy! <laughs> it's hard to describe what the sun looks like after not seeing it for seven days straight. Oh my gosh. I started crying once again. I'm not sure why, I just couldn't help it. We did it, <laughs> we did it. The only question that remains now is when I stand up. Am I gonna die of blood clots? We'll find out in just a minute. Jimmy, you ready? 
Don't drop it on me. Ew, I bet it stinks in there. You guys are predictable. I said that's what you would say. Let's not celebrate until I stand up and don't die of blood clots. At least sit up for a second, but wait, 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 wait. Wait for medic to come down. You feel nauseous at all, dizzy? Uh, I don't know. That's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. My first time standing in a week. Oh my god, my legs are weak. Oh, yeah, I didn't die. Yeah, there we go. Before. I'm good. I do feel like a rush of blood to my head, though. <laughs> that is actually a crazy feeling. But the real surprise was waiting for me just above her. Oh, wow, there's so many kids. After seven days, I was finally able to celebrate 200 million subscribers the right way. Yeah, we have to celebrate 200 million, bro. Right? Now that you all saw my underwear, I'm going to end the video. <laughs> And as always, let's end with an explosion. We're playing with one impossible. Gosh, that's so good, man. Congratulations on 200 million, bro. Congratulations on everything else, bro. And I hope that you have a good time, bro. If y'all did like this, bro, please subscribe. And you want to see more Mr. Beast? Comment and tell me that you want to see more Mr. Beast. And I'll see y'all later, Brody. And Brody's. Or that's or whatever. Peace.